get into before we get to the, before we actually get to the playoffs. I'm gonna do a quick look at these standings here. And pretty much show you what happened. We're gonna start in Eastern Conference. Eastern Conference ended up being the Tampa Bay Lightning ended up clinching the conference with 118 points. Toronto finished with 117. Florida finished with 104. Detroit 102. Canadians 102. Flyers with 102. Washington. Washington finished with 101. And the Rangers finished with 96. Uh, the Ottawa Senators missed out by one point. Finishing with 95 points. Carolina Hurricanes finished with 93 on the season. They missed the playoffs. So, again, we got the Rangers, the Capitals, the Flyers, the Canadians, the Red Wings, the Panthers, the Maple Leafs, and Lightning all at the top of the Eastern Conference. For the Western Conference, we've got the Minnesota, Minnesota Wild finished with 101 points. Winnipeg Jets finished with 97. Anaheim finished with 96. Vancouver finished with 95. Arizona with 93. St. Louis 92. Chicago 91. And your Seattle Kraken finished with 90. We beat out the Dallas Stars who finished with 84 points for that last wild card spot. It seemed, it looked like it was going to be close, but well, it wasn't. Going into the last couple of games of the season, it wasn't that close. Uh, but we're going to get to, uh, since you've seen now what the playoff teams look like, we're going to go ahead and do a quick little overlay of the stats here. Uh, Taylor Hall led the team at points with 80. Eric Stahl had 76. Uh, Martin Giordano had 67. Jordan Eberle had. Sorry. Uh, had 58. Dennis Gucharov had 42. And do a little quick. Uh, Seven goals. Everly had 25. So you see, he led the team with goals. Um, Mark Giordano and Eric Stahl actually led the team in assists with 56. So, that was a very interesting surprise there. And plus minus, it looks like. Eric Stahl finished with a plus minus of plus 35. <coughs> Jordan Eberle finished with eight game winning goals. With Taylor Hall having six. finished with four with the top for the power play goals and that was Colton Silwari who we traded for late in the season Mikel Grand Grandel Scott Lott and Taylor Hall it was a very interesting as you can see, it was kind of a very interesting year for us on the skaters, on the skater side. We're gonna show, we're gonna show the goalies real quick here. <clears throat> Jordan, Jonathan Quick finished with a record of 23, 19, and nine with two shutouts, a nine, a nine oh eight save percentage. With a goals against average of 287. Uh, Laura, 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 who was 
mod in late in the year. He finished with a record of 7 and 3 with one shootout. A save percentage of 920 and a goals against average of 249. And then another guy who was bought in very close to the late of the year because I had ownership pushing for an upgrade on the goalie. And at the time, I thought this guy was going to do it. But John Francis Barbary went 1 and 3 with a save percentage of 888 and a goals against average of 349. Honestly, it's going to be quick. Brossot, Brossot, who will be in the net for the playoffs, it just, it makes sense, but, yeah, so, <clears throat> um, oh, um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little peek at the Minnesota Wild, because I want to see what I'm up against here, alright, so, I'm going to start with their goals, because that's where we ended, <clears throat> Devin Dubon finished with a 38-23-7 record with five shutouts, a save percentage of 908, and a goals against average of 8 of 2.8285. His backup, Alex Stamak, finished with a 95 record, a 926 save percentage, and a 2.21 goals against average. I'm saved, not half bad. The leading point getter from Minnesota was Zach Carizzi with 77. The leading assist man was Jaden Shorts with 51. And their leading goal getter was Zach Carizzi with 34. So, it looks like Carizzi did a lot of. Yep. Carizzi and. Jared Spurgeon did a lot of the game winning goals with five apiece with Anthony Claire right behind him at four. Oh god, yeah. And Zach Parisi with ten power play goals. So it's gonna be a very interesting series, so to say the least. But we got a little but you got a little small preview of what's what's to come in the first series coming up between Seattle and Minnesota. Um, oh yeah, one more thing I'm gonna do real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and show off what the seedings are gonna look like real quick here. So, okay, so in the West it's gonna be Winnipeg and St. Louis, Minnesota and Seattle. Vancouver and Phoenix and um, the Ducks versus the Blackhawks. In the East is going to be the Capitals and the Rangers, the Flyers and the Red Wings, Toronto and Tampa, or Florida and then Tampa and Montreal. So those, those are going to be the seedings for the Stanley Cup playoffs. So. There you go. Um, we will see you back here for game one between Minnesota and Seattle.